This will be interesting because I now have a microphone. I'm hoping that it's picking me up quite well because I can now sit a bit more comfortably. I'm hoping I won't knock my uh, my drawers so much now <laughs> with my iPad balanced on it. I'm also hoping you're not going to pick up too much of the ridiculous noise that's going on outside. Anyway, so this is part four of my high heat perfumes. It's very gloomy outside today, so I hope this video isn't too dark. Oh, they're either always too quiet or too dark or, you know, whatever. But we're starting with my other Ted Baker perfume. Now, I had a little mini of this and I just really liked it, so I've got the big one now. And this is Ted Baker XO Extraordinary for Women. Um, there is an XO tip two, I think it's called, but I don't know what that one smells like. These are not very well reviewed and I think it's a bit harsh. But I feel the same about W. And like I said, when I talked about W, I do think what I like about these is they are very floral, but they're very watery, they're very light, they're easy to wear in hot weather. They're really good if you're a fussy skin pot, uh, skin pot, a fussy um, skin scenty sort of person you know if you don't like really strong perfumes both w and this are really nice but it's a way of getting those floral notes that you enjoy so that one is what i describe as violet and raspberry this one is what i think of as my tuberose perfume so the notes in this are the top notes are african orange flower middle notes tuberose gardenia and jasmine base notes heliotrope and musk and this one's been um, compared to madonna's truth or dare it's also been compared to amarige and it has you can smell a bit of the orange blossom you can smell a bit of the gardenia but i really think this is a tuberose perfume and it's tuberose in the way that you get tuberose in Dior Poison, which is probably why I like this one so much. It's very pretty, it's light, it's gentle. It does have a bit of projection, but it's not a beast at all. It's 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 just very fresh watery, it's so pretty. It's I think one of the prettiest florals that I have that is pretty much entirely floral. It, it doesn't really have fruits, you know? but it's very fresh. It's quite sweet, but not cloying at all. It just smells like fresh, sweet, yummy, slightly bubblegummy tuberose with a few other white florals underneath. And I just think it's really nice. I think the old bottles used to have like wood at the bottom or something, but this is, this is one of the newer bottles. And um, I just think this is a really nice way to get a nice tuberose perfume if you don't like strong perfumes, because I mean, let's be real, a lot of tubero, uh, tuberose perfumes are very strong. There's lots of stuff going on with them. They can be a bit difficult to wear. This one I think is very easy to wear and I just really like it. And you know, I, like I said, I quite like the Ted Baker perfumes. I, I think they're, they're pretty yummy. The ones I've smelled anyway, and I am definitely next month gonna try a couple of others because I've seen some that I'm interested in. Now, oh, this one is so random, I can't even tell you. Um, now I have I have two minis of this actually so I don't really need a big bottle because I've got two little minis and this is I don't know if you'll be able to see it but this is called Ceru this is by Ceruti and it's called Image Women for Women now this tiny little perfume is so unusual it's very unusual in my collection generally it is I've had to make so many notes about this one to explain what it smells like. Be and I'll read you the notes first and then you'll probably understand why this is quite unusual in my particular collection. So the top notes of this are crushed green leaves, grapefruit and pimento pepper. The heart notes are water mint, gen gentian root, I'm not really sure what that is, mineral carbon. The base notes are leather, amber, blonde wood and birch bark. Now, this is so hard to describe that I've literally written I've written quite a lot so I'm just literally going to write uh, read what I've I've written down in my notes so citrusy and green top followed by the spicy pimento pepper both are very gentle the mint peeks through a little bit but it's sweet and subtle and not at all toothpastey then the leather comes through but it's a soft 
and silky kind of leather that doesn't turn masculine it's definitely unusual it's interesting and it would be either kid leather or something possibly a bit more like suede it's like smells soft and expensive it's extremely well blended it's extremely smooth none of the notes are overpowering and it's a gentle skin scent for some reason this makes me think of ck1 not because it smells like ck1 but because it has that same gentle citrusy fresh vibe with a slightly woody base but it's super light fresh clean image is a little bit sweeter than ck1 but it's and it's also not far off ck um into you in terms of that vibe but without the vanilla and it's just much better blended and it just feels it feels much more classy um it says uh i said it's got the grapefruit in the top but the base leans into something that's woody but doesn't smell like straight up wood and it doesn't smell like cologne but it could definitely be unisex it's the only leather fragrance i have and it's very interesting surprisingly comfortable to wear brilliant for hot weather you can get a 75 ml for less than 20 pounds it's not necessarily a safe blind buy but it's really easy to get these minis so this is from ebay um and yeah i can't, i think I, I got two i got a little deal so i think it was about four pounds for two little 3.5 mls um okay so what, does, what else did i say about this one i said there is something just very magical about the deep dry down probably because of the amber keeping it warm someone on for granted could describe this as elegant and i absolutely know what they mean if you don't like smoky or leather scents then avoid at all costs but if you like to smell fresh and a bit niche but on a budget then this one's very special and um oh yes and uh i did i we i was snuggling with my partner earlier um i didn't ask him for his opinion um but he was kind of near my neck and he just said that i smelt very, really nice today and i smelt really fresh and clean and this is what i was wearing i was wearing this one this morning so um yeah i i just it's it's really a very unusual perfume but it's one of those even more unusual ones whereas it's really easy to wear but again yeah if you really don't like anything kind of leathery then avoid it but it's just yeah this is this is pretty and i, I just really wanted to try it partly because it's got quite a cool bottle this is a proper miniature of the real bottle and because i love 1881 by Saruti so much i just kind of was fascinated by this and i just wanted to try it because they re-released it quite recently anyway i've talked ages about that one but i think it's fair enough now what's next on the list um okay a cheapy a very cheapy again i like to put these in because you can still get these so this is um another one of the wicked uh, not wicked style um one of the harashuku lover um perfumes that you can get these 100 ml eau de toilette tester bottles from uh, direct cosmetics for like a fiver and this one is called g of the sea and this is this is very light this perfume which is why it's really good for this time of year when it's super hot it's a it's a bit aquatic there's a very slight saltiness it, it's kind of a water lily kind of kind of smell you know so the notes in this Top notes, water lily, red apple and wild berries. Middle notes, peony, freesia, jasmine. Base notes, woody notes, um, amber and musk. And again, as with all of these perfumes, really all I get from them most of the time are the top notes and maybe, if you're lucky, a couple of the middle notes. But I never really get much of the base notes in any of these Harashuku lovers. They're very... Mm, you could almost say they're kind of body sprayish, you know? But this is a red apple water lily, and it doesn't mention that there's a like a sea sea water accord, but it's definitely ever so slightly gently um, watery and salty. You know, it's yeah. I'm kind of I, I feel like it's called G of the Sea because there is like a, a sea accord, but it's just not listed on Fragrantica, and I assume that's a mistake. But it's. Yeah, it's apple, water lily, slightly salty. It does smell a little bit like the sea, but it's got that, you know, slightly fruity, slightly floral, really easy to wear, very light, very pleasant smell. And again, you know, it's such a bargain. So that's G of the Sea from Harry Shuku Lovers. Now, 
oh this one's very pretty and the bottle i mean the bottle's a beast look at it it's an absolute beast um it's got a really cool lid with the um lanvin sig insignia on it so this also this came with like a little ribbon as well but it just got on my nerves and i didn't like it It was a bit too twee for me but i do like that this is like a slice of ribbon basically um now this is called jeanne uh from lanvin and it's very delicate this perfume very delicate but it's i think of it as like a delicate raspberry i think it's really pretty and it's so easy to wear this is exceptionally easy to wear it's also quite bargainous i mean how much did this cost me this cost maybe oh i got this from ebay actually so yeah um i probably got it for about 15 pounds maybe less but you can get smaller bottles of this for under 20 pounds so quite cheap and cheerful i think you'd want to overspray this one quite a lot it's it's quite light is this an eau de toilette Mm. doesn't say doesn't say it well it, it, it performs like an eau de toilette so i'm just going to assume it's an eau de toilette now the notes in jeanne or jean actually it's it's uh, french for jane so it's jeanne is how you actually say, say this but i always like to say jeanne I, <laughs> i'm rubbish at french so i always get these wrong but anyway you can see what it says ignore my terrible pronunciation so the top notes of this are blackberry, pear and lemon. Middle notes are raspberry, peony, rose and freesia. Base notes are musk, sandalwood and amber. Now for me, this is almost entirely a light, lovely raspberry with a bit of blackberry. You do get a slight hint of those florals, but it's mainly raspberry. And there's something about the amber, sandalwood and musk mixed in with all of this that makes it just gently creamy to my nose it's just very lovely it's not cloyingly sweet it's got a bit of freshness it's the it, it's actually the same kind of raspberry that i get in my some of my favorite old perfumes so it's a very similar raspberry that i get from la belle Sariki by um, nina Riki. very similar kind of raspberry which is why i'm very fond of this it's really easy to wear You've probably seen lots of other YouTubers talking about this and saying, you know, this is pretty, I can't imagine anyone not liking this. People may not like how light it is, but for me, if you like skin scents, if you want, and also at this time of year, if you want something light, this is so pretty. It's really, really nice. It's a, it's just a beautiful perfume. And I, it's interesting because the only other Lanvin I currently have, I think, I think the only one I ever currently have is oxygen and that's a bit of a beast that perfume it's quite strong it's really noticeable but because it just smells clean i guess it's kind of subtle in a weird way but this one is exceptionally delicate it's very very pretty and yeah i i, I just think it's lovely so that's jean now then aha uh -huh. okay obviously i've got to get another aqua colonia in don't i so this is lemon and ginger and i wax lyrical about this when I got it oh it just smells like absolute fresh lemon juice with a big spoonful of sugar in it there is some ginger mm, I'm not I mean you know what it is actually it's it's very lemon forward but it's almost like there's a spoonful of you know you get ginger in syrup um yeah, so it's maybe like there's like a ginger syrup mixed in with a lot of lemon juice and a bit of sugar. It's still very tart and sharp, but it has enough sugar in it and it gets more sugary the longer you wear it. But it is just, it's lemon juice. It's absolutely lemon juice. Maybe a tiny hint of the lemon oil from the skin. Oh my God. Oh, I smell it. Smelling it instantly puts me in a good mood. It is an excellent mood lifter. I should have worn this today, man. <laughs> um, it's absolutely delicious. It doesn't list any other notes and I can't really smell much other than lemon, 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 lemon. It is absolutely delicious. It's one of their permanent collection. I absolutely love it. I do actually, I quite want to try the, um, the Lanvin Girl in Capri, which is a lemon perfume as well. But generally speaking, I haven't been searching for lemon perfume since I got this one because I just love it so much. 
and then let's do this bad boy so this is scentology and again these i got from boots and then randomly they don't they don't have them at boots anymore but you can get them on boohoo and you can get them on i think it was beauty bay uk this oh it's really pretty it says it's a um eau de parfum but again these definitely perform more like eau de toilettes they're light they're pretty they um the lasting powers maybe like three or four hours like they're not they don't last very they definitely don't last as if they're an eau de parfum but they're like 10 pounds for 100 ml they are very very nice so before i tell you what the notes of this are this one massively reminds me of a perfume i used to have from Guerlain called aqua allegoria pampaloon and that is also a uh, grapefruit and neroli uh, perfume which was very light because it's one of the aqua allegoria and that i mean like i don't even know if they still do those but aqua allegoria are ridiculously expensive now they are in beautiful bottles but they don't perform particularly well and this is an exceptionally good replacement for that perfume either if you can't get that perfume anymore or if you just can't afford it so i really really recommend this one to anyone who loved pampaloon so the notes in this i'm going to read it from boohoo so it's going to sound over the top this bright and uplifting citrus floral fragrance opens with a zing of pomelo and bergamot. The heart is full of sunshine, summery notes of neroli, jasmine and orange blossom, while the base reveals the fresh, earthy tones of cedarwood and sensuous musk. Um, <laughs> very over the top, but the, uh, specifically underneath they have... Uh, the top bergamot blackcurrant and pomelo heart neroli jasmine orange blossom base cedar wood and musk you smell the pomelo so it's like a sweet grapefruit it's not too bitter but you can tell it's pomelo you know you can tell that it's a grapefruity smell and lovely creamy kind of neroli that makes it, this very much smells like a very fancy shower gel it's very clean smelling indeed if if you wear this and when i've worn it i'm gonna oh yeah i need to pull this out and wear it again because it's so pretty you smell like you've just complete i would say this perfume makes you smell like you've had a shower and washed your hair and conditioned your hair and then um also covered yourself in uh like a lotion that smells like neroli and pomelo <laughs> i think that's exactly what it smells like it's very very pretty indeed and it's an absolute bargain and of all of them this one i think was one of the longest lasting i'm not sure i, I mean there's just something about the, the neroli in it i think that just made it last a bit longer so this one lasted longer than the lychee but it's very very nice now then next up oh yeah well i couldn't i couldn't do a high heat one without putting ck2 in because ck2 by calvin klein is just i think one of the absolute greatest greatest um high heat perfumes i've ever smelt i've again i, I don't need to i, I don't want to go on too long about this one because i have a video all about it and then i talked about it every time i've worn it and i've got like super super hyperbolic about it because i think it's incredible and it is incredible so i'll give you the notes the top notes were wasabi violet leaf mandarin orange and pear the middle notes are pebbles hedione orris root peony and rose the base notes are vetiver white musk incense and sandalwood and it uh, you know not to keep repeating myself all the time it smells like um rain cold rain on hot pebbles there's just but it's sweet it has like sweetness from the orris root it's got creaminess from the sandalwood it's got like a slight tart fruitiness from the mandarin orange it's got a some kind of warm spice from the wasabi you get the sharpness from the violet leaf when you first spray it but that really calms down the it's just the, the incense and the pebbles just make this smell like a hot street when it's raining but in the cleanest cleanest way you could imagine i'm obsessed with this perfume and i think it's absolutely gorgeous i have this big one and then i've got a little mini as well and i think it's an absolute bargain i th i think this was 35 pounds for this big one but obviously you don't have to get like a 100 ml bottle um you can get for like under 15 you can get the 30 mils and it's just 
it's in, it's entirely unisex it doesn't lean masculine it's not massively feminine but it's not sharp it's not like horribly sharp like so many of these kind of fresh perfumes i find are just so sharp and this one is not sharp because the orris root makes it sweet it's honestly it's so glorious i just don't even know how they did it it's just so magical i love that perfume i absolutely friggin love ck2 so um what i will say is that if you don't want to spend if you well if you're on a super budget or you think you're not going to wear it very often so you don't want to spend 15 quid on 30 mil and you're not too bothered about like the nicheness of it or the kind of um the more intriguing notes in it that are like super specific but are kind of subtle because this one's actually very easy to wear then i would say it's worth trying rain by h&m so i'm just going to try and move these around a bit so we can get these in um so rain i think has some similarities with ck2 there's um it's got the same kind of vibe it's definitely not as complex at all but overall if you're not bothered about the complexity of a perfume you just want the overall vibe of it then it's 4.99 for a little 20 ml bottle of H&M Rain. And um actually, I mean I think this one's pretty good. I've just I've got some notes on it because again, you don't really get any um proper notes for these H&M perfumes. So uh I said, yeah, so it's similar to this one, but it has a sharp green apple note at the top. Um it's a perfect kind of holiday perfume, really good for your bag. It's a budget friendly alternative for CK2 and it lasts for quite a few hours. It's one of the better lasting H&M ones. And I don't think it's got quite the same sweet creaminess and that like the Oris gives this. And it's definitely more apple-y rather than kind of pear and mandarin-y that you've got in CK2, but it's definitely worth a look this one because it, it really does have a similar vibe i think um it's not one i feel like i really need so i'm going to give this to my friend i've still got the box for it but it's it's a very cute and pretty scent and i think it's really easy to wear as well i'm just going to pop that there for a moment while i okay oh yeah oh i've had this one for such a long time it actually used to be brighter and it's faded which um you know it's kind of unusual i think a lot of perfumes get much um darker as they get older but because this doesn't have vanilla in it, it it seems to have gone lighter oddly so this is lush and it's called sun now the notes in this are very simple they are tangerine orange sandalwood and mimosa petals and this one oh it's such a cute scent i mean this one i think Oh, it says used by the 16th of the first 2023. So actually not too bad. This is an eau de cologne. So it's light, perfect for summer. And it is exactly what you would imagine from those notes. It is, but it's it's almost like a, a kind of tangerine and orange freshly squeezed juice. You know, it's just so, it's so fresh and bright and do you know what's funny i was i'd been buying the aqua colonias and i was like i really want one that smells like oranges and i had completely forgotten that i had sun at the back of my cupboard and then when i was going through to make this i was like oh holy hell i've got sun you cannot get a better perfume if you want something that smells like orange juice there is sandalwood in there so it's anchored with something slightly woody but it's not like it's not cedary it doesn't smell synthetic it smells natural it's soft it the mimosa gives it a slight powdery base but it's so juicy and fresh it's so easy to wear it's just so so pretty i really like sun it's one of the few perfumes that i still have from lush i've tried many they tend to be way too strong for me this one is absolutely lovely. It's so good for this time of year. I just think it's brilliant. Okay, so my last one, let me have a quick sniff. Oh, what an absolute beaut of a perfume. Um, this is a tiny little perfume oil by Al Rahab called Green Tea. Now, 
I, very annoyingly, they don't have a spray of this, which I'm not really sure why. It's a bit of a bummer because I would love to have a spray to spray over the top of this so it could get on my clothes. Because I don't put oil on my clothes, but this is just straight up green tea and citruses. That's all that the notes say. As I said before, I've, this was in my tea perfumes, and as I said, this one smells exactly like. Um, Oh, a cordial, so like a fruit squash that my mum used to make me and that I make sometimes that we call summer squash. It's actually St. Clement's squash. So that is oranges, fresh oranges, fresh lemons, citric acid, and a shed load of sugar. Um, and then boiling water, basically. That's what that is. This, if you add, if you were to add in just a very small, tiny hint of aromatic green tea, and not much, this is this is more citrusy than it is green tea-ish. The more it dries down, the more you get green tea, but I don't think it's gonna smell like um, Elizabeth Arden green tea because it doesn't. It's very citrusy. It's a sugary, pure sugary lemon and orange smell. It's heaven. I love this oil. It's so delicious. Again, another one that I'm really not been wearing and I sometimes I don't remember to wear oils. They're kind of hidden away, but I really need to. In fact, all of these perfumes I need to give a good wear to. Apart from this, as, as I say, this one's, um, I'm going to give this to a friend of mine because I've got this. But all of these are absolutely great for hot weather. Absolute bangers. They are all very reliable. And again, like, I think realistically this one cost me 35 because it's 100 mil these are going to be around 25 to 30 because they are 100 mil but you can get much smaller bottles you don't need like the 30 mil that i got of this was from tk maxx and it was like 12 quid um and again you can get smaller bottles of this for about 15 maybe 20 pounds so everything here is under 20 pounds ted baker was like 15 this one was 10. A sun i think I think that's about £20 for the Lush Sun. And Saruti Image is ridiculously cheap for how complex and interesting it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're all really great. I like them all. Um, I think I'm actually going to have enough perfumes to do one more of these high heat videos. So you, you might get a number five next week, but there's a couple of things I've been waiting for that I wanna test out. And they've come from Europe, so they've taken forever to arrive but i got them specifically for this hot weather so if i like them i'll put them up in the next one